Afternoon at 430, some good news for consumers. Finally, inflation is easing a bit to its slowest pace in nearly two years. That's according to a new report from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The most recent consumer price index shows prices fell for the ninth month in a row, a sign of hope maybe for Americans who've been hit very hard by high prices on goods all across the board for months now. Joining us this afternoon to break down what it all means for you is Associate Professor of Economics at the University of New Haven, Patrick Gorley. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. So is this, I, I guess, kind of simplify it if you can. This is good news. Is it fair to say that? Not really. Okay. I wouldn't call it bad <laughs> news. Uh, the CPI inflation has dropped. Everything you said is just factually accurate. That said, that measure of inflation is pretty volatile. And looking through the numbers that the Bureau of Labor Statistics put out today, uh, a lot of that is just a fall in energy prices, which is good, but at the same time, you're not as concerned about energy prices in April as you would be in October or November. So w were you surprised by what you read today, what you saw in this report? No, it's kind of what you would expect. Uh, again, inflation is going down, but that's just headline inflation. What economists like to look at and the Fed itself says their preferred measure is core inflation. That's where you're not including food prices or energy prices just because those fluctuate so much. And they actually went up slightly, re really just stayed level. And so that means that there's a lot more work to do before inflation gets down to the Fed's target, which far from five or six percent is two percent. Are people still, and I don't mean to put you on the spot here, but are people still debating if we're in a recession already or if we're on the, the brink of one? Yeah, I think people are still arguing if we're on the brink of a recession. I would say that overall, the U.S. economy is strong, right? The labor market's still very tight. Wages are going up. Unemployment is low. Uh, economic activity is doing fine. So I don't think the concern right now is a recession. It's just you also don't want to have 6% inflation forever. And so the Fed's main job is to bring down that inflation target down to their 2% target. And so far, they just haven't been able to do so. Do you anticipate another interest rate hike? And, and that appears to have been working at least till this point, maybe. Yeah, well, it's definitely, uh, I think it's helping. Whether or not it's working as much as we'd like, I, I don't think so. So the next Fed meeting is May 3rd. The Fed had been doing uh, 50, you know, half a percent raises until recently they had a quarter point raise. I think most people are expecting another quarter point raise on May 3rd. That said, we need to look and make sure that no other banks collapse or anything else happens. But if everything kind of stays normal with these numbers, I'd be surprised if you saw anything other than a quarter of a point raise at the next Fed meeting. And again, that's on May 3rd. Okay, Patrick Gorley from the University of New Haven. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Take care.